Hey, it's Sunscark11 with the next episode of my series on how I would buff the less than good blades in Xenoblade 2. So this episode will be on twin rings, and since drone work is the only twin ring that's a rare blade, at least not commons, the only non-common twin ring, I'll also be talking about two other blades that should have been twin rings, because their weapon types are already full enough, they don't need to be the weapon types they are, so going to be talking about them as changing them into twin rings for more variety and to make them work better as healers. And Dromark is the saddest of them all because he is one of the best looking characters in the whole game. He's this big adorable fluffy tiger and Nia can ride on him but you have no reason to do that because he's, he's really bad. He's one of the worst blades in the game. There's basically no reason to ever use him when you're not forced to. He's this big, adorable, fluffy tiger. So yeah, first thing is talking about how to buff Dromark and rings in general. As you can see, really bad crit rate. This is not Moon Matter, this is with Tachyon, but there isn't much difference when you're this low of a crit rate. So the very first thing to buff Twin Rings is a flat critical base buff to the entire weapon class. With Tachyon, I mean with Moon Matter Chip, let's give them 30% crit rate with Moon Matter Chip. Not super high, but at least it's not terrible. It's definitely workable with 30% crit rate. Also, especially with one of the changes we're going to be making to Dromark. He's also got pretty good ether defense already. Really bad physical defense, but that's fine. He's got only 10% ether mod. Since he's one of the first blades you get, I understand why they gave him a 10% ether mod. I think we could have easily had it where once he reaches S Trust, once he finishes his affinity chart, they could have raised this to a 15% ether mod. I know no other blades get that, but I mean, it's something you easily could have done. Also, could do that in Chapter 7 where he gets buffed to 15% ether mod from 10%. Now this is a pretty good special already. I forget if there is a critical modifier to this. I believe there is because usually critical modifiers are put on to critical damage specials like this. But if there's not, then I would add a 50% critical modifier. But I'm pretty sure there's already one there. I could be wrong. It's hard to find information on the special stats. Can't find where the doc was on those. But yeah, this one's fine. He just lacks critical rate. So giving a Moon Matter chip crit buff of 30% base plus 50% critical on this special would make this much more spammable. Also, I'm going to be changing one of his skills into a flat crit buff. This is fine, and this is fine. Wouldn't do anything to those. But I would, I guess, add 25% critical buff, 25% critical to both of these and make Dromark more a crit-based healer. That would also improve his damage significantly if you increase his critical rate and add critical to these things. Now this, this is absolutely worthless. The only time this will actually do anything is against enemy drivers and I guess unique monsters that have blades, driver unique monsters, which there isn't a whole lot of. So this is a really, really bad skill. So I would change this to something that would have a similar effect because a lot of enemy drivers, when they use blade combos, which is not even all their attacks, only certain attacks are actually blade combos, I'm pretty sure most of the time they are ether based. So go along with his 35% base ether defense and make this skill instead a flat increase to ether defense. Start it at... 2% and raise up to 10% flat ether defense increase. Same way that Gorg has a flat physical defense either I mean physical defense increase. So that would make Dromark much bulkier on the ether side. He'd somewhat be an ether tank. I mean 35% is already pretty good for ether defense, so 45% would be really nice for him and would make up for his really pathetically low physical defense. This, it's not 
a bad skill in theory, it's just way too low of an effect. So I would increase this up to 15%. 15% HP restored. Actually, I guess since you could spam arts, that might be too much. So 10% HP restored every time you use an art. I would also, you know, I'll go over the arts for rings on the drivers shortly after this. After I'm done talking about the blades themselves. But yeah, so 10% instead of 5% on this. And this one, this is just so, so worthless. I mean, why does this even exist? I would change this to a flat 10% increase in critical rate. That way he's got 40% base critical rate with Moon Matter Chip, and I believe if he added the aux cord, that would probably bring it up to 46 or 47%. Something around there. So yeah, that would... I think with all these things, we could make Draw Mark useful. All the critical increases would make him actually able to do some decent damage, not be DPS, but at least deal some decent damage. Buffing this would make him better at keeping himself healed, as along with this one increasing his Ether Defense instead. And on to the next one, Finch. Why is Finch a shield hammer when she's so clearly a beast blade? She should have been twin rings. Makes no sense for her to be a shield hammer. So let's make her into the bulky twin rings. She's already got good defenses. We'll keep those defenses. And agility mod, which is good. This is a worthless special. There is no reason for this at all. This is just so pointless. I mean, it's not like it's a really bad effect, but it's just a useless effect. So I would keep this effect, but then I would also add in HP Potion Spawn, because we are making Finch into a ring class healer. So keep the increased affinity. I mean, it's not like you need to get rid of it, it's just really not helpful at all. And then this one, I changed this to party heal, full party heal. And this one could be critical heal. This. This is so worthless because the chance is so low. I mean, it would actually be an interesting and useful effect if it was high enough to actually work. So I'd increase this to 75% chance at max. I'd start maybe around, I'd started at 20% and increase it to 75%. This is totally useless. I would increase this one to decrease his damage taken by 10% when HP is at 90% or higher. And then with this one, increase his damage dealt by 50% when HP is at 50% or higher. Since we are making Finch into a ring blade, we're not trying to make her high DPS or anything. So I don't think higher than 50% is really necessary. Just increase in damage and decrease in damage taken when at high HP. We got the high defenses. We got the agility mod, making it into a healer blade with three specials that are capable of healing. So that would make her a lot more useful, able to be somewhat tanky and deal a bit of damage when at max HP. And that's all for Finch. Dahlia is the next one. Dahlia absolutely should have been a ring blade. Honestly, if not for the fact that there's too many bit balls and not enough ring blades, even more than that, because her design is so, so horrible and she should have just been made into a full on animal instead of being this really disturbing uncanny valley of a human with way too many animal features. So, this one's fine. We're buffing twin ring critical rate, so this one's just fine. That's okay, and that's okay. So, honestly, your skills, they're fine. 
This one could be replaced. I would replace this with, I'd say replace this with a 10%, no, 15% critical buff at max affinity instead of a flat critical rate increase. Make it a flat critical rate increase at max affinity only, which means not too much different because you're going to be at max affinity most of the time anyway. But it would just make it a little bit different from Gromark. You don't want to make them too similar. So 10 or 15% critical rate increase at max affinity. And she's already got this, so going more into the critical increase makes sense. Actually, make this a flat 10% critical increase to the party at max affinity. We've already got something similar with Elma, except it's way bigger of an effect. Actually, no, I think it's Fiora that has that effect. But either way, she's already got this. So just make it a flat 10% critical rate increase to the whole party when at max affinity. That way it's separate from Dromark, which is focused more on himself, and Dahlia can be more about party support. And as for changing her design to fit with being a beast ring blade, just make her, like... Pan and Yarn from Fire Emblem Awakening, which are just giant, monstrous rabbits. That would be so much better than what she is. Anything would be so much better than what Dahlia looks like. And now for the last thing, I'll go into Arts, Twin Ring Arts. So Rex and Morag have already got Twin Ring Arts that are good, so I'm mostly just going to be talking about how to buff Mia's Twin Ring Arts. And honestly, the arts themselves aren't terrible. They're just pretty slow. So I would buff the recharges down to 11, 8, 11, and I get... Yeah, that one's fine already. So 11, 8, and 11 recharge. Just increase their recharge a slight bit. And otherwise, other than that, they're pretty much fine. Though if we could make... Actually, yeah, this is the only one that's actually physical already. But if we could make this ether, that would make it so much better. Kind of makes sense being physical with the animation and all, but you could make it ether and it would work out fine. So that is it for how to buff Twin Rings, which went somewhat into rants about the uselessness of Dromark and how bad Dahlia looks. But I mean, how can you talk about Dahlia without going into a rant about how bad her design is? Especially when there was so many good beta designs. She had, I think she had the most, besides Mithra and Pyra, she had the most unused designs. And they were also drastically different, and every single one was better than what we actually got. Anyway, rant over, and see you next time!